All right, I'm gonna take my earbud so. off so that I can't hear Twitch chat. <laughs> when I first built this shelf here, I just sort of decided that I was gonna use this finger jointed pine as the leading edge because I had it and I thought it would be better than MDF or whatever else I might have kicking around. I have to do the rest of my closet shelves today and I thought it would be a good idea to actually do some tests to see is pine like significantly better or can I save the money and use the MDF? So that's what we're gonna go do now. Well, that's gonna be as good as my table saw gets. We've got two pieces that are relatively fairly straight here, and then we can suspend each of them over this gap here. And what I wanna do is find some way to hang some weight, like chain or concrete or something off of them and see how much they deflect. And the amount of deflection will tell me how strong they are. That'll help inform me about which one I wanna use for my shelf stuff. We can use my aluminum as a edge so we can set this guy up in front and we look down here and say we're pretty much flush so what do you guys think what are your predictions we're doing science here science requires predictions so we're gonna get this about in the middle here we already have about an eighth of an inch of flex so with just pine this looks like about a sixteenth inch with just bucket on pine like it doesn't matter what the weight is it, all that matters is that we put the same weights in in about the same way. So battery, that's about the same. We'll add the router in. Oh, we got some flexing going on now. All right, what else can we add? We'll add in bottle jack. Very, very scientific, I know. The weight of bottle jack. So we are now down to 716s. Second bottle jack. Okay, so now we're flexing down 11 sixteenths, and I guess we just keep adding bottle jacks. Third bottle jack. Make sure it's not bouncing. So we are down to seven eighths, third BJ, and I guess we'll do the fourth one, and then after that. So now we are over an inch for at about one and an eighth. And I think that's more than reasonable. The goal of this test is to find out how much weight each of these will take roughly before they either break or get too ugly to keep using. These are gonna be on the front edge of the shelves that Santa and I are gonna build today. And I wanna see if this permanently deformed at all. Three sixteens, which is one eighth more than just the bucket before. With just the bucket on the MDF, Ooh, we are down already by 316. And then battery, and we're down to a quarter. Not looking good for the MDF. And then we add the router. Make sure it's not bouncing. Take the swing out. Three eighths. And you add one bottle jack. Jeez. Oh, we're down to Three quarters plus. I think pine wins. Second bottle jack. Uh, it's one and three sixteens. Don't bounce. I wonder if it'll even take the fourth bottle jack. Two and a quarter. Eh. Yeah, we'll call that two and a quarter. So that's a full inch and one eighth more. And then we get to look at its post test sag. Oh, wow. That's a half inch. <laughs> We're gonna to try to give a little bit of a conclusion with a little bit of also extra thought here in my very echoey, new, not totally finished master bathroom slash closet area. <laughs> 
One of the biggest things to consider is, yes, the strength, but the strength is not the whole story. This piece in behind me for this shelf that is super duper, really ridiculously way too long is much thinner than this piece over here for a much shorter shelf. You gotta take into consideration where you're using and how you're using your materials, not just this material is the best, it's so strong. Of course, you also have to consider price, you have to consider availability, you have to consider how easy something is to work with. You know, if you buy a piece of MDF in four by eight sheet and you're cutting your, your actual shelves for it, for most people, most of the time, you're not gonna need anything stronger than maybe instead of the inch and a half here, a two inch piece of MDF on the front and you'll be okay. This one eh, is kind of long. I'm still thinking I might want to put some support in the middle, but right now it is what it is. So I hope you find this a little bit useful, maybe a, a little bit entertaining. And mostly I kind of wanted to do something to say, hey, look, if you don't know something and you can't find an answer for it, go, go do some science, do an experiment make a little test. What I did here didn't take very long to actually do and, and test and try and find out. I had the material, so it didn't really cost me much extra. If you don't have the material, it might be a little bit extra, but you could have also like cheesed it a little bit with a piece of like one by two and then matched the size with some whatever similar thickness MDF. There's lots of ways you can go about it. So go, go about it, go do it, get back to work.